Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today's video, as you can probably tell by my attire, <laughs> I'm feeling very holiday-ish. The holidays are upon us and I was in Ulta and I picked up these two products. I, I couldn't, you guys, they're they're adorable. This is the ColourPop Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, line. This is not a new line. They did have this previously, but they re-released it, you know, for the holiday time. So I'm gonna use the lip, I'm gonna use the palette. Let me kind of show you the packaging and I wanna put the lip on real quick because I wanna see how it wears throughout the video because y'all know I got sensitive lips, so. Um. <laughs> But this one is in I Think You're Cute. It's very, very nude and colors like that um, work really well for the holidays. Oh, and by the way, you guys, if you're wondering about my jewelry, so my earrings, oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> Looking at them in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, admiring. My earrings, my bracelets all came from Hobby Lobby and they were like 50% off. So my earrings were only like $2. My bracelets were only like, I don't know, three or $4. My rings, um, Kohl's and I think my necklace came from Kohl's too. But so in case you guys were wondering about that, but anyways, all right, so let me open this up. D adorable packaging. I mean, super, super cute. Who doesn't love this? This was $16.99. Yeah, it was it was kind of expensive. Um, I did, uh, what's happening with my color? You guys, I'm sorry about the color changing in my videos. I have to send it out again. It's, it's broke. It never got fixed in the first place. But anyways, I digress. All right, so here is the lip products. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Look at the glitter on that. Oh, it's so cute. And then look at that. Isn't that just, I'm a sucker. Can y'all tell? I am a sucker. All right, so this is the lip pencil. Very nude, very nice. Let's just put this on and then I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys the palette here. Yeah, see, super nude, very nice. I love, I love colors like this. All right, so let's put on the lipstick. All right, there's that, and then. Okay. Okay, I think you're cute. Did I tell you what the name of it was, you guys? <laughs> We'll see how cute you are at the end of this video. We'll see. It's creamy right now, but I don't know if it's gonna dry down to a matte, but we'll find out. And then, did I tell you guys the price? I can't even remember, it's $16.99. I did have um, a $10 off coupon if you ordered $50 through Ulta. So there was a small discount on these. But anyways, let me show you this right here. Isn't that so cute? Here's the back. The back has the names on it, which is really nice. And then you just kind of open it up like this. And it looks like that. Adorable. So let me show you this up close. Show you the back. It's got the names, which is great. I love that. <clears throat> it's got the cardboard packaging that I love. Come on, open up. <laughs> I'm trying to sh I'm trying to show you guys this without blinding you because my light ring is reflecting in the mirror and I you know I'm not fancy I don't know how to do all that stuff where it doesn't reflect um, but let me show you the palette I did already swatch it and kind of play with it a little bit I do have to say um, it's a very neutral color story with a little bit of pizzazz in there um, I, it, so it, it definitely appeals to me I will say one thing though these these shimmers in here were not as vibrant as I would like them to be or what we're used to seeing from ColourPop. Like we're used to seeing some real bold um, shimmer and glitter and I don't get that from this. So we'll see what we can do with the eye look. By the way, that was $24, I believe. And then like I said, I had the little coupon. Um, all right, I gotta put my hair back. Yeah. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. I think these, you guys, I got from Sheen, I think. Oh, so cute. So cute. I got other ones too. Like, oh my God, aren't those adorable? I know, they're adorable. But you can get those Sheen, Timu. They're, they're all over the place right now. Okay, so... So let's do, I'm going to do two different eye looks. One on this side, one on this side. Um, I think I'm going to go into this one right here right off the bat. Why not? Let's be brave. Let's be brave. This is called Christmas time. Ooh, and it's very powdery. Right, let's just start that right here. Oh boy. It's super dark. Okay. I'm just going to keep it kind of like right here. Yeah. We'll just keep you right here on the edge. I'm not gonna worry about blending it out too much right now. I'm just kind of placing the color. We'll blend later. All right, so now, oh, you guys, I forgot to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe if you like my content. And for those of you subscribed, I always have to recognize you guys because you guys are the best. Thank you so much. All right, so now let's go into this one right here. It's called Handsome Nose and it's a metallic. Um, so generally I don't like to put metallics in my crease because metallics can crease, um, a little bit. Just, that's just the nature of the pigment. It, it nothing to do with this particular palette or color pop. Um, but, oh, it's blending really nicely. All right, let's mix a little bit of this here. Yeah, it seems to be working well. Okay. Ooh. I kind of like that. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's metallic, but it's got a little bit of little bit of flicks of glitter in there. All right, let's take a little bit more of that handsome nose. I'm gonna go underneath the lower lash line with it. Okay, so now I can take the brush that I had the um, Christmas time color on. No more pigment. Let's just kind of soften things up a little bit. Just kind of pat things out right here. I'm not sure yet if I want to take this into the crease yet. I might. I'll do that later. This one right here, it's called Independent Together. And I'm going to put that right here and kind of start blending this upwards. Start blending this metallic out, the one that was Handsome Nose. Blending it upwards. And it is looking super pretty. All right, let's kind of blend a little bit here. And then take whatever I can with this brush. See if we can blend anything out right here. Okay, none of that green is kind of going that way, which is fine, that's fine. Let's blend this. Hmm, it's looking really pretty. Okay, Elf Practice. It's kind of like a shimmery green. I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna mix it with some Max Mixing Medium. I'm gonna put a little, Oops, I got lipstick on there. Okay, let's do it over here. I still got lipstick on my hand. Let's do it right here. And I'm gonna take what I have on the brush, mix it with the mixing medium. All right, so I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it all over the, the lid. Let's see, start it here. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, okay. All right, let me take a little off because when I swatched, this by themselves. This was not very, you know, it didn't have a lot of high shine, high pigment. They were a little lackluster, but with the mixing medium, it's really pulling some of that color out. Nice. Okay. Let's take a little bit of that, just kind of up and over. Up and over in that crease a little. Okay, very beautiful. I'm taking the first brush that I use. No more pigment. Let's just kind of get rid of any of these harsh lines. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's pretty. So let's take a little bit more of Handsome Nose. Put it in the crease right here. Gosh, that's really pretty, you guys. My lips are looking pretty good. 
still a little creamy. Um, I, I might be like a um, semi matte possibly. Um, um, <clears throat> okay, inner corner. We got to do something with the inner corner. You guys know I love a really good, nice, bright, shiny inner corner. All right, you know, the obvious choice is North Pole. <laughs> North Pole, it is. Um, should I wet it? Yeah. All right. Max mixing, uh, uh, max fix plus. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Take a little bit. Wow. That's really, really, really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to take, um, the brush that I had handsome nose on just right here kind of blends this out right here stunning oh so beautiful i'm gonna take whatever's left over of uh north pole underneath the lower lash line what's this fallout uh-huh okay okay so Despite my better judgment, I'm going to do um, a wing. You know, I've said this once, I'll say it again. Liquid liner can smell your fear. You have to be very careful. Liquid liner can go from, or any liner for that matter, can go from gorgeous to disaster in like 0.2 seconds. You know, you've heard me say this a million times. <laughs> All right. I got to concentrate. I'm going to do a small one. Okay, guys, the wing is done. I did a very small, very small wing, nothing too dramatic. All right, let's go in with mascara. I'm gonna use the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. Okay, you guys, the mascara is on. Hopefully my wing is, uh, liquid liner is dry. Um, I think what I wanna do is I do wanna tight line just the tops of the water lines. I'm just gonna use my Pacifica Black Coal Pencil. Yeah, ju just the tops, you guys, because sometimes it just helps to conceal the um, whites of like your eye, or where your waterline is, like that peachy kind of pink look um, to keep from poking through the um, mascara, your eyelashes there. So, okay, so that looks beautiful. I want to just finish up the highlight real quick, and I'm going to use the new palette or new face palette that I purchased from Ace Beauté. This is their um, Glow Essential Highlighter Palette. I figured I, bought it, I better use it. I did feature this in my haul video um, recently. You know what? I think I'm going to go for popping. I'm going to go for popping. It's got a pink shift to it. Show it to you. I don't know if you'll be able to. Mm. See that shift? It's got a pink. It's got a nice pink shift to it. On this side. Oh, I think I need a little more. I think I tapped off too much. <laughs> That is so pretty. Let's just do a little here. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, guys, that looks so pretty. Let's um, move on to the next eye. So going into this one right here, it's called Mush Mush. Do a little bit right there. That's a beautiful color. Wow, it's really pigmented and it's pretty. Gosh, that's beautiful. Let's go into full power. I think I'm gonna do a halo. Let's do a halo on this side. Yeah, I said fun, but I don't know, I'm getting dramatic, I feel like. All right, let's get, let's do a halo. Let's do right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I'm tapping off so much that <laughs> all the fluff is coming off in the air instead of saying on my brush. Okay. 
Let's just keep, you guys, I'm just going to keep placing this. I'm going to take whatever I've left over on my brush. I'm taking it underneath the lower lash line. A little bit more. Okay. So that looks really, really pretty. And I think I'm going to go into this one. It's called Misfit Toys, whatever that means. I don't know. Does that mean something? <laughs> no idea. All right. I'm going to get a flat, a small flat brush. I'm going to do the same thing with the mixing medium. Bring it on my hand here. I'm just going to keep tapping it in, guys. Okay, now I can go in there and I can clean it up. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Gosh, beautiful. I'm back into full power, just a small amount. Let's kind of um, blend out any harsh lines that we Gosh, that's, that is so beautiful, you guys. In the little tiny viewfinder, it's looking absolutely stunning. I want to put some of that Misfit Toys underneath the lower lash line right here. You guys see it? Oh, looks pretty, looks so good. Now I wanna do something with the inner corner, but I wanna use something different. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if, if these two here are gonna be too dark for the inner corner. I think I'm just gonna err on the side of caution, you guys. I'm gonna just go back into um, this one right here called North Pole. I'm gonna take the Mac Fix Plus and wet it again, and I'm gonna put it in the middle, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. That is so beautiful. I, it's a little, I got a little bit messy down here, but you know, whatever, what you going to do, whatever. Um, so, what I'm going to do on this side, I'm not going to do a wing, but I am going to tight line tops and bottoms of the waterline. And then I'm going to go back in with the same mascara. You guys, that eye is done. All right. So let's finish this makeup look and add some highlight. Um, maybe this one called glowing. Let's try that one. This one doesn't have a shift of any other color to it. It's just like a champagne. Let's try this now. Ooh. Ooh. I know in when I'm looking in the viewfinder, it looks very like <clears throat> white almost. Hopefully you guys can see the gold in there because when I look at it in my, my mirror, I do see the gold. So do a little boop boop here. Let's do a little here. Do a little here. Ooh, man, it's <laughs> pigmented, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, and the lipstick. Oh, I feel like I did too much booping. The lipstick is fine. Let me reapply. I, I don't know that I necessarily need to reapply, but you know, let me reapply. Okay, guys, it's time for me to show you the final look. Okay, you guys, this makeup look is complete. That is using the ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer eyeshadow palette. And I did get one other little thing from that line, um, the lipstick in, what are you? What was it? You're cute? What was it called? I think you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> the corresponding lipstick and lip liner, and I think you're cute. Let me talk about the lipstick first. I love the lip liner. It's great. Who doesn't need a nude? And the lipstick is nice, too. It's a very beautiful nude color. Um, I don't know that I would necessarily spend $16 on this. I think there's better options out there for much cheaper. Um, if you're in the market for a nude lipstick and you, if this happens to go on sale for, like, super cheap, I mean, why not? Go for it. But if you can purchase this palette on a sale, then I would say, okay, go for it. 
Um, Black Friday sales are happening. Um, I wouldn't spend $24 on this. I feel like you can get these types of looks with any other palette with or other palettes that you know might be a little bit cheaper. I don't think there's anything necessarily special, totally special about this. Um, I don't really know much more to say about it. Like I said, 24 bucks I think is a little bit steep for this. I think it, it's worth more like half that. But you are paying for the adorable packaging. Um, but <clears throat> if you really like my eye look and you can't live without them, then I understand, go buy it. I I've done that before where people have done makeup looks where I'm just like, I, I think that is just too gorgeous and too beautiful. Like I have to have it and I went out and I bought it. And you know, sometimes you're just kind of moved like that. And, um, you know, but if you're on the fence about it, I would wait, wait for a sale, like wait for a sale. You know what I mean? So comment below, tell me what you think. What's your opinion? Which I do you prefer for Christmas? I definitely prefer this one. This one's, <laughs> this one's just beautiful everyday look, you know, but, um, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.